So, you want to learn about transform orientations in Blender? Well, go to your school's orientation and then turn into Ben 10 to transform yourself into a different alien orient at orientation school or hey guys welcome back to by kai i'm kai and today we are back in blender 2.81 once again taking a look at uh transform orientations and i talked about this a little bit ago just very soon very soon previously um is that a thing very soon previously i don't know anyway um pretty much what they do is they help you be able to change the way you can move things and that's really really useful especially for modeling i recently made a lightsaber and i use this uh method here so i'm actually gonna get rid of default cube and i have a better example for you i'm sorry i'm gonna hit shift a and add in a cylinder and the cylinder is gonna help us out a bunch because you'll see why in a second now so if i hit tab and go into edit mode you can see we have all these little lines and stuff and whatnot if i go to face select mode you can see here I get one on my uh, on my numpad to go into front facing view, and I'll just hold down shift and select every two uh, 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 planes here, faces. So every two, I'm going to skip two, and select one, two, then skip two, then all the same way around here. So now this is a really great way to test it. So it's even, completely even, now you can see. Um, now if I were to hit S, uh, S, X, because I wanted like to scale them outwards, you can see it scales the two on the outermost parts properly but it scales all the other ones kind of weird because it's it's stretching them instead of i want them all to go out like out in every direction like this like it's like a little like a like a gear like that kind of so now that that's done i want to go ahead and uh, actually hit i to inset these just push them in just a little bit like that and then i'm gonna hit e to extrude them you can see when i push them out they kind of just extrude like that which is nice so they kind of do that by default which is which is pretty good but you see the thing here is if i want to go ahead and maybe make these thinner so they're not like the same thickness i want to make the end th thin so like it's, it's smaller it goes out to like a sun instead of like a gear uh if i hit sx to scale them on the side s y to scale them on the side you can see it scales this one perfectly but it scales these other ones kind of weird so like there's this really weird like thing like this and I don't really want them to do that. I, I want them just to get smaller. It's kind of like rotating these, and it's really, really super weird. So we can fix that really easily with this really, really, really neat trick uh, that a lot of people don't know about by going up to global transform, global, global and transform, by going to transform orientations and changing it from global to normal. And normal is going to change only the actual vertices and faces themselves individually. So if I hit S, Y now, you can see, well, if I hit S, X now, it's going to scale them together and it's not going to it's not going to do the weird thing anymore which is really nice so now we have the ability to do this and, and pop up all these weird lines on the canvas <laughs> rather than being able to do this because that is just really weird like who even needs that like what is that even useful for it's not that's this this is what i'm telling you so there we go that is that's that's the stuff right there so if it's zero it's going to scale them all to zero uh which is cool and then i can go up to like uh vertice and then uh vertex merge distance and now they're all the same thing so super super cool super easy way to get stuff done now we have a little sun boy look at this it's adorable uh, but yeah so that's gonna be it for today's tutorial i will see you in the next one uh but until then bye bye